I'll start with OVS offload layer description. Then I'll go over OVS TPDK tunnel and cap DCAP offload, how that is done using helper API. And then I'll uh, talk about a specific example showing the sequence of VXLAN DCAP offload and then summarize the talk. So OVS community has been working on OVS offload solution for a while. Now we are at a point where we have OVS offload layer design is in place. This is the control plane. Uh, it is below the OF proto layer. It is device agnostic. It is divided in two sub layers. Uh, as you can see on the right hand side of this slide uh, in the picture. And this architecture supports multiple flow offload APIs as OVS TPDK has been using RTE flow for offloading and then OVS kernel data path uses TC flower. And there are two types of flow offload API. For flow specific, you have the put, delete, and statistic. And then for the flow dumps, you have create and destroy. So in summary, now we are at a point where OVS offload layer design is in place. For the rest of the talk, I will focus on the excellent NCAP DCAP uh, using helper API. When we started, the NCAP functionality offloading that for SRIV scenario was uh, straightforward in terms of flow match and action. DCAP was more challenging because the way OVS handles that as a two bridge model, where at the first stage, you just pop the tunnel. Second stage, you further classify the flow using inner header fields and then output to VF representer. The side effect of this design is you can get flow offloaded for DCAP in any order, F2 followed by F1, F1 followed by F2 or F2 only. So PMD has to handle all this. In order to address this complexity and still maintain the device agnostic offload model, uh, tunnel helper APIs were introduced in DPDK 20.11. For VXLAN and NCAP DCAP offload, full offload with SRIV, OVS offload layer basically takes into uh, account those APIs and leverages them. And those are the APIs listed here. They are Tunnel DCAP set is used to validate tunnel type before F1 offload. Get restore info API is used for the case when F1 is hit but F2 is missed, which allows OVS layer to get packet specific details from PMD. Tunnel match is used before F2 offload, which also allows PMD to return private items. And then tunnel action decap release. This is used by OVS uh, after F1 offload, whether it's a success or failure. This will free up the data structure associated with the F1 offload. So this is now architecture and design for VXN and cap decap offload using SRIV. Uh, you can use OVS DPDK with full offload. And it addresses the challenge that it doesn't double count uh, packets when F1 is hit, but F2 was missed. Also, it is efficient. It only offloads F2 on the port on which the flow was originated. So with that, I'll go over an example sequence of how this offloading works. And this is for the VXN DCAP. You get a packet, which is tunnel packet, comes through PMD to user data path. At this point, user data path does not know about the flow, so it will send it to a proto layer, which will then install rule or F1, which results in creation of tunnel V port. Now after that, processing F2, again, user data pad doesn't know about this flow, so it sends it to OF Proto to further classify it. OF Proto at this point will 
go ahead and install the second rule, F2. Two rules are now installed in user data path, and then the packet is sent through the VF representer, which will then flow through the NIC from PF, we'll get loop back inside the NIC and we'll go to VM. So this is when both F1 and F2 rules are installed in user data path. And now with the offload layer being there, user data path further offloads those two flows. In steps 12, 13, and 14, it is offloading F2. Steps 15, 16, and 17, it's offloading F1. And from this point onward for those flows uh, that are known to the NIC, uh, when a packet is received, NIC processes that packet, including the entire flow processing, and will forward it to VM. So in summary, when we began uh, with SRI, the full offloading of tunnel and cap decap, we faced significant challenges for tunnel decap offload. But with the use of tunnel helper API for OVS DPDK offload, uh, those challenges were addressed. And we now have a full VXLAN and cap decap offload in place in OVS 260. This solution is designed in a way that it can be extended to other tunnel types. With that, I'll conclude my talk. Thanks for listening. Many thanks uh, to our uh, speakers here, uh, Hamel and Sriharsha. Um, it doesn't look like either of them has managed to uh, join the, uh, the the conference, so uh, we won't be able to ask them questions, but uh, we, we thank them none, nonetheless. And I'm sure that they'd be responsive if you uh, contacted them uh, via email.